Hello, my dear students. We are all coming back to school very soon and we are all so happy to see you again. Today, we are going to start our review sessions online and the first lesson we are going to start with is my body organs. You studied last year that the body consists of many organs and each organ has its own function or a job to do to help you to stay alive. Today, we are going to review those organs and their functions. So, let's start. As you can see, the body consists of many organs inside, like the heart, the lungs, the liver, the kidneys, and the stomach. But there are other organs that exist outside the body, like the skin. So, the skin is an organ that covers the whole body and protects it. This year, you are going to study the skin and the stomach and their functions. So, now, let's talk about each of these organs and their functions. Number one, the lungs. As we have studied, we have two lungs that exist in the upper part of the body in an area called the chest area. What is the function of the lungs? The lungs help you to take in the oxygen you breathe from the air and also get rid of the carbon dioxide gas outside the body. This is known as the respiration process. So what is the respiration process? It is the process where we take in the oxygen from the air and get rid of the carbon dioxide. Number two, the heart. The heart exists also in the chest area just between the two lungs. The heart acts like a pump that pushes the blood all over the body. The blood carries important substances like nutrients and oxygen and sends them to all the body parts. Our body needs those nutrients to change them into the energy that we need. Number three, the liver. The liver is a large organ in your body that helps to clean the blood from harmful substances called toxins. It helps to send those harmful substances outside the body. Number four, the kidneys. We also have two kidneys in our bodies that exist in the back. The kidneys act like filters that clean the blood from any wastes and send them outside the body in the form of urine. Number five. The stomach. This year you are going to study the stomach. You will know that it looks like a sack that stores the food that you eat to be changed or broken down into smaller pieces by the help of some liquids or juices that exist in the stomach. The food has to be broken into smaller pieces to be easier to use. We have to keep our body organs healthy. How can we keep those body organs healthy? Here are some habits that help us to keep our body organs healthy. Do exercise regularly or practice any kind of sports. This helps to protect your heart, your muscles and bones and also help you to stay in a good health. Eat healthy food like fruits and vegetables. Healthy food help you to be strong and build your body. We should not eat unhealthy food like junk food and sweets. They may cause illness and make you weak. Sleep well. Give your body enough amount of rest, so you have to sleep at least 8 hours every day. Drink lots of water. Water is very important to your body organs. It protects your kidneys, your heart, and also water is very good for your skin. You have to stay clean. Brush your teeth regularly, especially after the meals. Also wash your hands with soap or any sanitizer to make sure that you killed any microbes or viruses and protect you from diseases. You have to take a shower every day. And whenever you sneeze or blow your nose, make sure you use a tissue. Also, you have to limit using televisions, computers and mobile phones. 
because staying for a long time in front of televisions and computers harm your sense organs like your eyes and also it's not good for your brain. Keep away from smokers and smoking areas and make sure that you breathe fresh air to protect your lungs from any diseases. Here we reached the end of the lesson. Thank you for watching and I hope you understand the lesson well and until we meet, goodbye.